LE3 is now available inside ChatGPT for all Plus users, and I've had some really impressive results. So let's jump right in. I'll show you some tips for making some killer t-shirt designs. So before we open up a new Delhi 3 chat, I'll show you how to use another new feature in ChatGPT, which will turn it into an incredible prompt engineer. So all you have to do is find other images that you want to use as inspiration. So you can look at top selling designs on somewhere like Etsy, but I found this hip looking dog with glasses on Google Images. So just save that to your computer. Now if we go back to ChatGPT and open up a new GPT-4 chat, just the default chat, you can upload images to ChatGPT GPT and it'll interpret them. So let's load in that dog t-shirt design and ask it to give me a Delhi 3 prompt to reproduce this image. So it's given us back this really nice descriptive well-written prompt. It starts off a vibrant illustration of a poised dog wearing yellow tinted square glasses and a blue scarf and it goes on from there. So let's take this over to a new Delhi 3 chat. You need to create a new chat and select Delhi 3 here. So now if we paste that into the chat and submit it's going to give us a set of four images and the generation time here is about 20 to 40 seconds and there it is. These look great for t-shirt designs. And what I really I like about generating images in here is that each one of the four has a distinct and original prompt that ChatGPT has engineered. And you can see that by clicking on them. So basically we're two levels deep now. ChatGPT made the original prompt and then refined it again for each of these images. And these are all nice because you can easily make the background transparent and put the dog and the gradient on any t-shirt color. And if you want to do a reroll, all you have to do is click on the edit icon next to the original prompt and resubmit. I do find Dolly 3 stays more consistent on rerolls and small prompt changes than for example Midjourney would. So for example, if you want to make the same design for all 197 dog breeds, you could do that with this. It'd be a lot of work to set up originally, but you would definitely sell some and could turn to some passive income. And speaking of profitable niches, let's check out some Halloween t-shirt designs. This time I put in a simple prompt, Halloween t-shirt design featuring a unique werewolf. And ChatGPT suggested four different styles and generated a unique prompt and image for each, including text this time. I really like the steampunk look on number two. And number three is a simple cartoon style that really works well on t-shirts. Also, I'm really impressed with the stylized text on these. That's a really hard thing to design nicely like this. Yeah, you can put generic font on top, but this looks so nice. Like look at the, Dragon Wolf Knight text on number four there. Unfortunately, it's missing the G, so it's not perfect yet. So you can ask ChatGPT to revise an image, but I haven't had much luck specifically targeting one letter like that. But remember, this is still in beta. How about Christmas t-shirts? Let's see how it does with this fun, simple Christmas t-shirt designs prompt. It really nailed the text this time. It's correct on all of them. Number two is a nice clean one. And number four really works too. I like how the text is written in icing. But I have noticed this problem sometimes where the text gets cut off on one of the sides. So watch out for that. So I've been really impressed with Dolly 3 and ChatGPT and how they work together so nicely. Now how does that compare with Midjourney? Well Midjourney is still much better at photos. And I still feel Midjourney has got a bit more of the creative edge. So I'm not going to give up my subscription anytime soon. But I really like the way Dolly 3 works with text. It can be really hard to get that nice stylized text on an image. And I like that Dolly 3 is really good at that and usually gets the spelling correct. I think where it gets really interesting is when there's a better integration between Dolly 3 and ChatGPT or GPT-4. As you saw in the video, you have to switch between the normal chat and then the Dolly 3 chat. I think in the future, they'll have all that kind of linked together. So what you can do is just put in a prompt, it'll create an image, and then it can refine that image automatically because ChatGPT can see images now. And so that iterative process, I think will make some really amazing images. And you see this a bit in the OpenAI's website with the image they show you, which is it takes a bunch of different prompts and puts them together into one composition for a really nice result. So the roadmap for Dolly looks really interesting and I can't wait to see how it progresses. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. I got more AI videos coming up. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.